Hello Tomachain community, I am Gang Fang. I'm a blockchain researcher at Tomachain where we are building an efficient blockchain infrastructure for decentralized applications, tokenization, and integration. And in this video, I'm going to talk about our new consensus protocol, proof of stake voting for scalability and decentralized blockchain governance. Specifically, I'm going to talk about how our voting system, the decentralized governance, and our data validation mechanism for security guarantees work. Firstly, I'm going to talk about the voting system. Tomacher relies on an architecture of 150 master nodes, and this set of master nodes is dynamically changed every part depending on the votes of the point holders. In order to become a master node, you need to deposit at least 50,000 to more, and you must be in the list of 250 vote master nodes. And being a master node, you are able to create blocks, verify it, and sign it off. And in, in each epoch, there are a maximum of 900 blocks can be created. And uh, each block is created every two seconds, and you have to verify these blocks. Lazy master nodes will be eliminated by the whole coin holders to unvoting. Secondly, I'm going to talk about our data validation mechanism, which is combined with randomization for security guarantees. In data validation, when a master node creates a block, this block must be verified by another master node. This other master node is selected randomly among the remaining sets of the master node. Uh, randomization has two important properties, unpredictable and uniform. Unpredictability means that no one can bias the results of the randomization and uniformity means that every master node is selected equally. That means if you if we create 900 blocks in an epoch and we have 150 master nodes, each master node must be selected six times. Double validation can eliminate folks in nothing as that problem. Nothing as that problem occurs when an attacker creates multiple blocks to create multiple faults in the system. And it is in this scenario, the best optimal strategy for master nodes is to verify all these faults so that they always get rewarded if either of the faults wins the majority of the network. But in that validation, the point is that a block verifier only needs to select one of the faults and you only need to verify one of these faults and all other faults will be eliminated immediately by the remaining of the network because only this block is verified by the second block verifier. So this is how that validation can uh, reduce faults in the system. And lastly, I'm going to talk about decentralized governance and reward technology. We provide decentralized on-chain governance through voting. Coin holders vote for system changes such as technical upgrades and economic policies. Master nodes can follow these change decisions to upgrade the system. And the question is that how to encourage coin holders to actively participate in the voting system? And in order to do so, we provide an incentive system in which coin holders are explicitly rewarded for their voting for master nodes. An interesting point in our incentive system is that the reward per token is disproportionate to the total amount of token voted for master node. That means coin holders wanting to maximize their profit from voting should consider the least voted master nodes, even the candidates right just right after the most voted candidates. Eventually, we think that every candidate will have a chance of becoming a master node, and that's how we think that the decentralization level would shift to a balanced point. And that's how we think that our system will provide an efficiently built in decentralized governance to reward. Okay, that's quite pretty much information. If you have any comment or feedback, please send us to our email here. And if you think that this video is interesting, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And bye!